useless Anderson Coopers of the world. These little men, these Lilliputians with their $10 million studios and their acolytes who kiss their toes, worthless all of them. The media has a job, and the media's job is to be the fourth estate, not the fifth column. Shame on Anderson Cooper. He symbolizes everything wrong with the media. He is the media. He's the cowardly media that has destroyed America. Never forget that. We are here because of men like Anderson Cooper who permitted Barack Obama to get away with his silk smooth delivery while behind him were the agitators and the haters. Never forget this. Never ever forget what I'm telling you today. Shall I go on to the callers or not? WABC, Marty, go ahead. Maybe we'll end this discussion now and go to something else. Marty, what's on your mind? Augustine, former New York City housing police, served from 1970 to 1990. I worked in the ghetto, and I was on during the time that the Black Liberation Army was going around killing cops. They attacked uh, two carloads, Waverly Jones, Joseph P. and Giattini, and Rocco Laurie and Gregory Forster. I feel that this communist in office is inspiring these cowardly acts, and the cop, the deputy in Texas, was executed. You can't think of a more cowardly act than that. And I just want to mention, as 20 years as a cop and five years as a sergeant, the most brutal cops that I ever worked with were black cops, not white, because we liked working in the ghetto, and we got along with the people in the, in the neighborhood. The black cops, a lot of them were occupying forces. They had babies with people in the projects. And I saw stuff that you wouldn't believe if I described it to well, you. Well, that's your, that's your experience, and we cannot generalize. But the issue is how Obama gets away with it because of men like Anderson Cooper. You see, if we had a, vi if we had a viable media... If we had a masculine media, if we had a visceral media, if we had an American media, he would not get away with this. He would not be get. He wouldn't be able to do this over and over again. Anderson, how is he able? To, how is he able to bully the nation like this? How does he get away with it? Is the question. He does it because he has an agenda. And what is what is Barry Obama's agenda? His agenda is to destroy the police, to destroy people's confidence in the police. Right now, he's basically saying that the police are, are they're, they're vulnerable. They're, the police sometimes think that they're tough. They put on their bulletproof vest. He's saying to the people that these people are ripe. Let's go out and get them. And there's also, at the same time, there's a open season on white people. We've had some murders in St. Augustine by the savages from Jacksonville. So he's just saying to his ilk, to his like uh, fellow travelers. So do you agree with me that there is an actual ongoing civil war in this country right now? There certainly is. There's a civil war, and the people are similar to what happened in Rhodesia. Exactly. Okay, well, we'll let it hang in the air. That's all. We'll be right back to take your call. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth with gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-Y-C-O-I-N. Tired of hearing people um, call these black activists. They're not activists. This is black slime, and it needs to be eradicated. Here's how you do it. I need every law-abiding person in the United States of America to stand up and start pushing back against this slime, this, this filth, this uh, disparaging the, the American law enforcement officer within these communities. When these ugly people come out and, and start this and start talking this stuff on social media to push back against it, and demand, demand people uh, that belong to these organizations to get out of their town. There's no room for it. At Sheriff Clark, these are not black activists. They're black slime. And he is apparently a black policeman. But again, I guess you didn't hear that. It didn't make it to an Anderson Cooper show. Well, it made it to this show because there's a war against the police and this execution of this white police officer with 15 shots as he lay dying has to become a national discussion there has to be a stop of the war on police because you're next once the thin blue line is gone they'll come to get you now i'll take some calls lillian wabc go ahead you're on the savage nation yeah i you sound just like a racist bully is what you sound like oh shut up shut up what do you think you're going to intimidate me with that word racist you can't scare you can't scare me. You've used it all your life to scare people. Why don't you have some sympathy for the dead white policeman? 
You're the racist and the bully. You're the racist and bully. You brilliant woman. You must have a master's degree from somewhere. Where'd you get your master's in? Stupidity? Where'd you get your master's degree? In public welfare? Where'd you get your master's degree in how to rip the system off and shoot your mouth off at the same time? How would you feel if it was your child that got killed for no reason? Oh, so you're supporting the killing of police. Is that it, Lillian? You. You're a racist. I uh, use uh, don't use the racist on me. I'm not going to be intimidated by you. You're a nobody. You're just a loudmouth nobody. You ought to be. You ought to have sympathy for that dead officer. You loudmouth racist. You. You loudmouth racist. You. You loudmouth racist. You. You loudmouth racist. You go back where you came from. Crawl back into the hole you came out of. You ought to have sympathy for the dead officer. I knew it. I know what you scratch the surface and that's what you get. That's what you get. Just scratch the surface. And they wanted the ki the killing of the police. And they want more of them killed. Don't make any mistakes about it. Don't make any mistakes about this. This was not a one-off shot by a, a deranged criminal. There is a war against white police. It's been triggered by your president. And it's only just begun. End of story. Scratch the surface. You're next. Right under the surface. Right under the surface, you take away the thin blue line, and you're next. WABC, Peter, your opinion counts. Go ahead, please. Dr. Savage, I've had it up to here with these people. I can't take this anymore. How come no one from the White House has come down to Texas? Where is Eric Holder? Where is Barack Hussein Obama? Where are these people? What is wrong with this country? I What's wrong with the country has two names, Barack Obama. He is the disease. He is the illness in America. He is the virus that has destroyed this country's heart and soul. Dr. Savage, what has he said? Has he has the virus said one word about the execution of that white policeman? If he, I apologize in advance if I missed it. Did the virus in the White House say one word about the execution of that white policeman? Not one word. And watch how quickly they sweep this under the rug, just like they did with the white reporter that was killed in Virginia. Yes, and what about the fact that the black man who killed the white woman and the uh, sound man had a gay flag in his apartment? How come that wasn't uh, a part of the story? It doesn't fit the media's agenda. I mean, they ripped down, the, the Confederate flag was ripped down over a murder. Why don't they rip down the gay flag next? That would be crazy. You could blame all gays for his murder, right? Then what are you blaming all people who support the Confederate flag for being racist murderers? Stupid! Idiots, morons, and dangerous stupid idiot morons, and racist stupid idiot morons. Make no mistake about it. Violent, revolutionary stupid idiot morons, and there's millions of them. Make no mistake about it. This is not an accident. This is orchestrated. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. about the ambush Texas cop who was shot in the back of the head over the weekend while pumping gasoline by a black criminal. And as the cop lay dying, he was executed with 15 more shots in his head and back. And it's outrageous to me that your president has not said one word. Hillary Clinton, not one word. Certainly, uh, you'd expect one word from the Republican Party. So let's go to the liberal New York Post, now under control of Murdoch's children. And let's look at what the children of Murdoch think is worthy of news. Bono made more money off Facebook than his entire music career. No mention of the cop. Sweet vindication for malign Tom Brady. Tom Brady, sketch artist. The Christian movie hit that's shocking Hollywood. That's probably one of their productions. How to figure out anyone's salary. I went undercover as a topless performer in Times Square. Again, nothing of the cop. Vladimir Putin shows off how little iron he can actually pump. Miley Cyrus was the most narcissistic ward show host ever. This is, these are the headlines on the New York Post.com under Murdoch Jr. Then you go down to the news. State Department to release 7,000 more pages of Hillary emails. 150 cents. It's surging Ben Carson. Pulls even with Donald Trump in Iowa poll. Moscow Zoo's lonely orangutan will break your heart. Oh, here it is. 
Here it is. Ambush Texas cop was shot 15 times in head and back. Now, you've got to click on the story published by Murdoch Jr. And let's see. The story is ambush cop, suburban Houston police officer, was ambushed at a gas station and shot 15 times. Shannon J. Miles appeared briefly. Blah, blah, blah. And that's the story. No picture. Oh, there's Shannon Miles. Sorry. You have to scroll down. And then you see Shannon Miles. Unrepentant Shannon Miles. Miles' criminal record begins in 2005 when he was convicted of criminal mischief, giving false information to police and resisting arrest. In 06, the cop killer was convicted of disorderly conduct with a firearm, sentenced to 15 days in jail. In 07, the cop killer was convicted of evading arrest. In 09, he was again arrested for resisting arrest. The 30-year-old Houston resident was sentenced to several short stints in jail, anywhere from 10 to 6 days. So the officer was pumping gas at a Chevron station Friday night in the middle to upper middle class suburban area of Harris County, northwest of Houston, when the gunman, the gunman approached him from behind and fired multiple shots, continuing the fire after the deputy had fallen to the ground. Well, what more can I say? The nationwide Black Lives Matter, in my opinion, has triggered this. They've called for this based on the false narrative of Ferguson. Based on the false narrative of Ferguson, your president has basically triggered the civil war against police. And so the uh, party goes on. The walking dead go on. The United States of America goes down. It's one of those days. It's a very serious time in American history, which you can easily ignore by paying attention to media, you know, to entertainment, sports. You know, non nonsense if you want. I mean, you can, you can ignore this. Probably sane people would do. But I couldn't ignore it. I was sick over it all weekend. I was agitating over it all weekend that they wouldn't mention it. That Anderson Cooper, that cowardly, useless idiot, the pretty boy in the on MSNBC. Why does he even have a show on CNN? Why does pretty boy Anderson even have a show? Is he a newsman? What is he? He's an entertainer. Why does he have a multi-million dollar studio? Why does he not talk about a thing like this? And why am I picking on Anderson Cooper? Because he is a symbol of everything wrong with the fourth estate. He has become the fifth column. He is the fifth column. He ought to wear the uniform of the fifth column. Let's see what else is in the news in uh, Murdoch Jr.'s newspaper. Let's see. Uh, the obscene drive to avoid any Senate vote on the Iran deal. I haven't even talked about that. The Iran deal is one of the worst possible outcomes of this communist in the White House, this communist revolutionary anti-Semite in the White House. Is that enough for you in one word? The racist in the White House is doing everything he can to erase America and erase Israel off the map of the world. Does that work for you? Write it down. The racist in the White House is doing everything he can to erase America and erase Israel off the world map. That is part and parcel of the leftist agenda. He is the leader of the leftist agenda. Do you understand that? Okay. JR, WJR in Detroit. Dan, what's on your mind? Go ahead, please. Dan, go ahead. Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, Michael, my hat goes off to you because you are so on point. I'm going to tell you something that my dad, who lived through Nazi war Germany, said in the early 70s. He says, if we don't change something in America, there's going to be reverse discrimination. And that's exactly what we're seeing under the Olonsky, the, the, the Olonsky playbook that Obama is playing by, that Hillary is playing by. They are a disgrace, and you, you are so correct. They should be. Well, but here's the thing to remember. There's no such thing as reverse racism. It is called racism. And because it's coming from a black president doesn't make it reverse racism. It makes it racism because that's what he has used as a fulcrum to get where he is. And he will never stop using it because that is how he maintains his power. Just as that deranged caller called me a racist, she, she understands the game. She understands the game just as during the uh, communist uh, revolution in, in, Amer in, uh, in Russia. They used to grill people and say, are you a member of the party? Are you a loyal member of the party? Or are you anti-party? Uh, anti the new game is, are you now or have you ever been a racist? This is the new McCarthyism. And there's being practiced by minorities and white communists who have used this, this game for a very long time. I understand the game very well. I've watched them do it my entire life. 
Every time you criticize uh, a people of that particular